And now the moment you've all been waiting for. The main event of the night. Brought to you by yours truly, Junker Rocks. And out comes the leader of the bunch. And by bunch, I mean the Yakuza 4. Is it? Great Yakuza wasted no time getting himself out there, nothing too flashy, just getting straight to it. Great Yakuza's got a no-nonsense kind of personality, fitting of the Yakuza of wisdom. Let's see how much his wisdom can yield in this match. Now the other Yakuza joining him tonight. Purple Yakuza, Yakuza of money, Yakuza of speed, and lastly the Yakuza of style as you can see. Purple Yakuza are just taking it all in. Man start from the bottom, working his way up to become a Yakuzillion. And now here he is. Let's see how well his kicks do. Now the wild card of the bunch, it's Crazy Yakuza. Always along for the ride with the Yakuza 4, but this time he's fun with Grey Yakuza and Purple Yakuza. As part of the Yakuza Dead Souls. Crazy Yakuza really feeling the moment right now. Really feeling the heat. And last but not and least, from Osaka, Japan, weighing in at 259 pounds, the Dragon Goldman. It's none other than Golden Yakuza. Boasted more strength, possibly more strength at least than Green Yakuza himself, Golden Yakuza's coming out to make a statement. He survived and he's conquered many undead. But it's his first time encountering those who have died almost more than a century ago. Well, almost more than two centuries ago.
And now, it's time for the lads of Ishin to come out. And leading the way is none other than Leader Lad. And from Japan, weighing in at 185 pounds, T.G. Kester. Leader Lad ever so stoic and imposing with his flair. He's got a mind for strategy and an eye for talent. That's how he scouted his members. That's how they've managed to rule all of Japan. Leader Lad already strategizing the moment he came out on this day. What has Leader Lad got in his mouth? We'll wait and see. But first, it's his most loyal follower. And from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 240 pounds, Sakamoto Free Omar. Loyal Lad following wherever Leader Lad goes, because he knows that if he sticks with Leader Lad, he'll make it. And so far they've made it to the top of their country. But now we'll have to make it, we'll have to wait, but now we'll have to wait and see if they can make it through this tag match. They've got some really tough opponents. And now the other wild card, the wild card of their team. Oh, loony lad is quite loony. I mean, just look at him doing such a loony thing. Oh my goodness. That was actually pretty cool. The time and everything. Oh, oh, wow, wow. See, he's, he's spazzing out because he's just crazy, you know? Kind of like another person we know right now. But anyways, yeah, he's, he's so loony and unpredictable. You, know, you, you just can't get a read on him. And that's why he's so important to have on Leader Lad's team. Even though he may be difficult to work with and difficult to control, Leader Lad knows his ways around him. He understands him. And because of that, he can wield his power and bring out Looney Lad's full potential. Look at that flexibility. But that's what makes Looney Lad so dangerous. Nobody knows his next move. People underestimate his power. And last but certainly not least, The largest lad of them all. A large lad feeling the heat right now. Leader lad understands that size matters when it comes to combat. You can be the most skilled person in the world, but you ain't shit compared to anyone bigger than you. That's why large lad is on this team. Because he's so large. 
I mean, just look at his muscles. Look at those arms. That's no joke. Might mix right, as they say. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. The stakes are very hot. The winner of this match goes against Yakuza 4, the reigning four-man champion. Oh, Leader Lab really just... Oh, Leader Lab really throwing those hands already. Just unrelenting on the offense. Oh, going for the leg. Leader Lab, nope. Leader Lab putting his technician skills to good use there. Oh, Crazy Yakuza helps build Great Yakuza out. Ooh, very nice display of power by Leader Lab. See, he's the leader for a reason. He's got the brains and the bronze. Ah, oh, the great Yakuza retali- Oh, oh not for long. Leader Lab redirecting that retaliation back towards him. Ooh, very nice suplex to the corner by great Yakuza. Right in front of his teammates, just assaulting him. Very bold move to go for the pinfall in front of his teammates. Oh, there's there's a lot of chaos going on right now. Look at Purple Yakuza and appears to be loyal at going at it. And now Great Yakuza retaliating. Very nice backdrop. Super. Oh no, Great Yakuza is going, going to crack his neck. Hey, that ain't allowed here. Hey, can somebody stop that? Oh, Great Yakuza stop. Of course, that makes sense. Great Yakuza doesn't kill. Oh no, what's Great Yakuza gonna do? Oh, very nice. STO. Oh, and a kick to Loyal Light. Great Yakuza really 1v2ing this right now. Proven why he's led the Yakuza 4. Because he's also got the bronze. I don't know about brains, but. Seems like he's got some technique going on there. Uh, but but uh, Looney Lab. Looney Lab blinds out of him and going for a neck break. Ooh, very painful looking knee drop by Looney Lab. And another neck break. Ooh, very painful drop kick to the face. Ah, Louie Lau was trying to trying to get some aggression towards the uh, Great Yakuza's teammates, the Death Souls, but yeah, Golden and Great Yakuza, I mean uh, Crazy Yakuza ain't having none of it. Oh, Lumi Lai showing Crazy Yakuza who's bought it and Golden Yakuza just standing there. Ah, Golden Yakuza really having none of it. You don't mess with Golden Yakuza. Oh wow! Oh, oh. I agree. Yakuza are already going for the the dragon heat. And pinfall broken, of course, unsurprisingly. Very nice. Oh, very nice technique by Great Yakuza. Very nice chaos theory there. Oh, and very nice German suplex. Well, not really German suplex, but like kind of flip. Ooh, three, four, five. Looney Lab putting a stop to that. All right, the Yakuza escapes Looney Lab's wrath. And ooh, goes for the Kiwami Crusher. Already this early on in the match. But the pinfall is broken by none other than Loyal Lab. 
But Yakuza decided to tag in Crazy Yakuza. The battle of the two wild cards. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Uh, trouble and so. Oh, wait a minute. Very nice trouble in paradise by uh, Luna Land. All right, Looney Lad laying the smack is down on the dead zones. I guess he learned his lesson by not targeting Golden Yakuza, but it doesn't matter because Crazy Yakuza already got it. And speaking of which, in comes Golden Yakuza. And Golden Yakuza is just straight up going for the lads. Already? Oh, already just pummeling Loyal Land. It's on to pick a fight with Larson and just boots him in the face. Oh my god, Golden Yakuza just... Oh wait, that was Leader Land. Okay, Golden Yakuza just avoiding Loyal Land altogether. Ah, Golden Yakuza really fooling himself playing in the crowd there. And doing it again because he, he, I guess he's really feeling himself. Is he gonna do it a third time? Uh, nope, it just boots Luna Land in the head. Oh no. Oh no, that, that, he's going for the bionic arm. The bionic arm! Oh my goodness. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wait a minute. How, how did Luna Land not get knocked out by that? See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what we've been seeing from Luna Land. Nothing makes sense. He stays down with moves that don't usually take people down, and he just gets up from moves like this. Like it's just hard to predict this guy. It doesn't make any sense. It don't make no sense. Oh, Golden Gap is going for the Dragon Sleeper. Uh, Looney Lot just easily escaping from it. Again, Looney Lot just defying conventions of conventions and logic. And, oh, Golden Gap is a two v one ing right now, or one v two in this case. Very nice escape by Golden Yakuza. Not letting Looney like tag in. Ooh, an excellent display of strength by Golden Yakuza. And keep in mind that's not his bionic arm, that's just his regular arm. Golden Yakuza feeling the heat. I guess he just decided to let Looney like tag out. And he gets punished for that. The Detzel's playing with Golden Yakuza to tag it, and he makes it! He barely dodges. Oh, oh wh wow, they, they missed twice! Oh, finally, Crazy Yakuza got the spinning back in. Ooh, very nice springboard body splash. I, gu I guess Loyal Lab was just so, uh, so out of it from that, so uh, dazed from what just happened. Just like we all were. Oh, very nice, oh, very nice dog. Oh no, he's going for the dragon heat. Ouch, that's got a smart. Purple Yaksa saving the day. Oh, Loyal at already busting Crazy Yakuza open. Crazy Yakuza starting to retaliate. Going for his back, giving him a nice little back massage. Oh, oh, he's coming for, he's coming for Green Yakuza and he does a leg drop, very nice. Uh, Crazy Yakuza, not sure what he was doing there. I guess he wasn't sure if he wanted to tag. Oh! The Tiger Drop. Nothing beats the Tiger Drop, and look at Crazy Yakuza already knocked out. It's 
Speaking of Tiger. Uh, see, the thing about Lark Lad is he's a very strong, but sometimes he's just not all there. You understand? That's why he's tagging in Leader Lad, because that, that's someone who's definitely all there. Oh, very nice armbar. Oh, well, no, not armbar. That's the Kimura Lock. My bad, ladies and gentlemen. A suplex by Leader Lad. Oh no, he, he's going on the top rope. Is he getting ready to fly? Is he getting ready to soar? Oh, he, he, saw, he saw Purple Jack so trying to push him off there. And he just stood there and get hit by telling some more. What, what the hell is going on? A uh, moon lab breaking the fall. Purple Yakuza. Purple Yakuza was about a retaliate and he, I, I guess he just backed out. Ooh, very nice in the theory by Leader Lad. I guess Leader Lad's finished for now. He tags back in Large Flag. And a very nice spear by Large Flag. Now that, that was perfectly timed. That couldn't have been better timed. Oh no, is he, is he going for the... Ah, never mind. G gets kicked in the nuts. Oh, crazy yaks. Oh, Large Flag just tanking the trouble and something boring. A large match is manhandling crazy Yakuza. All right, tagging in Luna Lad. Let's see what they do here. Let's see what they do here. Ah, goals for the. Oh, oh my goodness! Very nice team. Very nice springboard drop kick. Drop kicked him so hard he sp spun the other way so somehow. Uh, uh, I think he's even supposed to spin that way. Oh, and a very nice trouble in paradise. Say, their, their movesets look awfully familiar. Quite similar. I wonder why. Alright, I, I guess Luna Lad's dropkick was an incentive enough for Purple Yagza to step out. Crazy Yakuza tagging in Grey Yakuza. Ooh. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Oh, goes for the tiger drop, but Looney Lab manages to, to catch it. Oh, very nice maneuver by Looney Lab. And a stunner on the ropes. Now he tags back in Large Lad. Oh, Large Lad going for the clothesline. That, that's one close line. Oh, that's two close lines. Can he go for a third one? We gotta see. And he does a third one. Oh, wait, that's it? He, he's tagging it. He just came in to do close lines and he, he tagged out. All right. Sure thing. And, and Great Yakuza is already back up. Large Lad just really wanted to do, to do those close lines, I guess. Doesn't matter because now Loyal Lad hits him with a dragon heat once more. Knocks him out cold. A purple Yakuza saving Grey Yakuza's ass once more. Alright, going for a rush combo. Well, we're seeing a rush combo from Loyal Lad and a very nice toss. Just tossed him like a ragdoll. Loyal Lad retaliating. Of course, the Dead Souls. Completely ignoring Golden Yakuza. I guess Golden Yakuza's presence is just so intimidating that he didn't even notice him being tagged in. Oh, looks like he was going for something there, but Golden Yakuza manages to stop him. Burn out suplex drop. Golden Yakuza just really taking this all in right now. 
Really confident. Oh, blocks the clothesline by a large. Player. Just tossing large lad around like nothing. I keep in mind this is a very large lad. This is a ludicrously large lad. And he's just being tossed around by Golden Yakuza. Oh my goodness, look at the strength of Golden Yakuza! And a very nice front power swing. Just lifts him up and, and large lad just getting back up right away after all that. What is going on with these two? Absolute friggin' units. Very nice technique on that neck breaker by Golden Yakuza. Right, Golden Yakuza, I guess he's he's looking to tag in, perhaps? Tags in purple Yakuza. I don't think we've seen purple Yakuza in action for uh, for quite a while. If if at all, real. Purple Yakuza's town to shine. Ooh, bust large lad open. Oh, he, he just came in to bust large lad open. Now he's tag tagging Golden Yakuza back in. All right. I guess Golden Yakuza just really wanted to give Purple Yakuza a, a chance to shine there. And going for the Golden Sleeper. I mean the Dragon Sleeper, but Leader Lad, uh, the large lad manages to escape. Even though Leader Lad tried to break him out, but oh, very nice close now. Golden Yakuza just tanking hits and just dishing out damage right now. Oh, Large Lad going for Crazy Yakuza. Large Lad is like, uh, if, if I can't beat you, then I can beat your friends. Oh, and Purple Yakuza retaliating. Purple Yakuza playing a little, uh, playing a little dirty. Golden Yakuza doesn't seem to have any clue what to do next either, just like Crazy Yakuza. Just like crazy Yakuza earlier. Uh, 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 okay. Ooh, very nice reversal by large player. Golden Yakuza not taking that well. Ah, uh, but it doesn't matter. Large lad going for the neck breaker. It's now large lad feeling the heat and Golden Yakuza deciding to Attack Purple Yakuza back in. And he just walked straight into a Tiger Bomb. A very nice by both of them. For different reasons. For Yakuza Bell and Purple Yakuza out this time. Alright, tags in leader lag. Goes for the arm of Purple Yakuza. Ooh, ooh, what's Purple Yakuza? Ooh, just throwing in the hands right now. Just mounting and punching. Not, I, I don't think Purple Yakuza has been using his kicks as much. Lifting Lar uh, leader lad up. Oh, just socks him in the throat. Again, very unusual of Purple Yakuza. Usually we see him use kicks. But Purple Yakuza just... Okay. Oh, very nice maneuver by a uh, leader lad. Oh, goals for the hand. No more Tiger dropping for you, son. That that's what he's probably thinking. Ouch! Knee to the face, just crushing Grey Yakuza's skull right now. Oh, Leader Lad just taunting him as he's trying to go for a tag. Leader Lad awfully cold in this approach and very interesting rush combo by Leader Lad. Leader Lad golden Grey Yakuza to get back up. He's got more cooking. And misses the corner attack. This is Grey Yakuza's chance, and gets Fireman's Slam. 
and gets front drop kick and he leaves the ring and he targets uh, Loyalad but Loyalad throws him back in meanwhile leader Lao just on the beating end on the receiving end of the beating I mean by uh, the hands of the death souls but it doesn't matter he's on the top rope he's gonna soar let's uh, oh but ah it doesn't know his purple yeah because it's sabotaging his fly but it doesn't matter he Ooh, ouch very nice shining wizard to the back of great yakuza oh man both their backs must be broken by now that, that was not a good land but very rough but i guess that that's what leader lab was trying to go for Looney lad just keeping purple yakuza at bay right Looney lad not okay there we go Yakuza going for the Kawami Crusher, but misses and pays the prize. Burn out suplex by Leader Lad. Oh no, no, he's gonna soar one more time. Oh no, he's going for one more. Ouch! My goodness! There goes the back of Great Yakuza. Is he getting on the top rope again? Oh no, he's tagging and moving. Very nice display of acrobatics and high fly maneuvers by leader line. very high risk high fly maneuvers much oh now Luna lot knowing to target great yakuza's is back and skull uh, two of the lads are going in but uh, none of them seem to be following through oh never mind looks like loyal lads following through oh, oh. Ah, oh, but uh, Purple Yakuza manages to sucker punch him there. Eh? Ooh, very nice reversal by Great Yakuza. Alright, Lunalag this time tagging in Loyal A. Oh, my mistake. It was it was Leader Lad that was trying to go for Purple Yakuza. Now it's Loyal Lad versus Great Yakuza. That was very uncharacteristic of the Leader Lad to be indecisive and let himself get blindsided by that. Oh, get the Kawami Crusher by Loyal Lad. Crazy Yakuza manages to break the pinfall. But uh, accidentally hits a woman in the process. Accidentally hits the referee who just happens to be a woman. Alright, it seems like the woman is A-OK, -okay, which is good. Very nice double shoulder tackle by Loyal and Luna Lad. Loon Lad hollering at the crowd. Oh no. Is this it? Trouble in Paradise. Uh, we, oh. Of course, Purple Yakuza breaks the fall yet again. Purple Yakuza really bailing out his teammates there. I guess that's why they call him the lifeline of Kamarocho. Just bailing everyone out. Either by money or breaking pinfall. Gets Kiwami crushered by Grey Yakuza. That might be it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Golden Yakuza was not fast enough to cover there. Neither was Purple Yakuza, despite being the speedy and stylish one. Oh, oh wow. Golden Yakuza on the top rope. What's he going to do? Oh, my goodness. Is he, gonna he just flew right at Luna Lab. Uh, just imagine a big hulking uh, massive muscle and uh, whatever his bionic arm is made of metal just that flying at you like a freaking missile 
Oh no, Golden Yakuza is going, going for the, the go to sleep. The, the GTS. And Ange is going for the big ball right in front of the lads. The other lads, that is. Golden Yakuza socking the, the other lads with his bionic arm, but it seems to have no, no effect. Oh, leader! A very nice display of strength by leader. Yeah. And now purple yak is hitting the woman. My goodness. Leader lad using this opportunity to sucker punch purple yak is get him back from uh, for what happened last time. Sword and very nice double axe handle. Oh, very nice technique by Leader. Leader Lad's technical prowess never ceases to amaze. Golden Gap is uh, losing his foot in there from all the beating. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa Leader Lad. Leader Lad just trying to keep his man day, showing his frustration at Luna Lad, breaking him, uh, throwing him off his game there. Well, what was going on there within the lads? Is there a mutiny or something? Well, it doesn't matter now. We're back to square one with Grey Yakuza and Leader Lad in the ring. Again, very nice technique by Grey Yakuza, but Loon Lad saves Leader Lad. Hopefully that makes up for the uh, rather strange debacle that happened. Oh, ouch. And a dragon heat by Grey Yakuza. Loyal Lad manages to break the pin. Now confrontation between the two. Great Yakuza just throws him at, to the corner. Not doing anything about it, just leaving him lying there. Not really worried about him possibly getting up from that, Does, though it doesn't seem like Loyal Lad is really going to budge. Very nice STO by Great Yakuza to lead him. Just hitting him in the back for good measure there. But of course, Large Lad was very quick on his feet to break that pinfall. Oh, suplex towards Loyal Lad's leg there! Now, and now Great Yak is just feeling the heat. Just popping off in front of Loyal Lad. Very bold. Oh, and no, no, now he's really feeling the heat. But this time, Loyal Lad's woken up. Ouch, very painful atomic drop. Loyal Lad's definitely going to be feeling that next morning when he goes to the toilet. Oh, very nice. Oh, my goodness. Very nice Okinawa fly by, uh, by later lane. Sorry, real Q fly. Real Q fly. Right tags in Luna Lad. Ow! Great Yakuza is definitely not going to be sleeping well or waking up well for that matter. His back is just murdered right now. Luna Lad targeting the Dead Souls. That's Great Yakuza is outside. Purple Yakuza not taking it, and Purple Yakuza slowly escaping. And just taunting Luna Lab behind his back. Great Yakuza deciding his back is just 
done. He can't handle it anymore. Very tired. And a purple Yakuza. Oh, wait. What's going on here? Ouch! Get blindsided! By the DOA! But by... Uh, oh. Great Yakuza. Oh, no. It, it seems like Great Yakuza wasn't able to move his legs. Great Yakuza might be paralyzed. He can't feel his legs. That's how... Oh, wow. Looney latches ever so unpredictable. Again, very nice real cute fly by a leader like that, but... Luna latches with this DOA out of nowhere. Here are your and that... That led the lads of Ishin to victory. Now we know, ladies and gentlemen, the next team to face off against the Yakuza 4 is none other than the lads of Ishin. We're gonna see the match of the century right here. Or should we say the, last, the match of the millennium? Congratulations, lads. You done it. Good night, everyone.